What is up, everyone? Welcome back to another video. Um, the French League team of the season is here. The League of the Rats. They have arrived. Mbappe, Dembele, Marquinhos. But uh, let's dive into it and we'll see what we have. Okay, we only had a splash screen for only a couple seconds. So first, we're going to start out with the objectives. I am not going to be opening any packs this video. Um, that doesn't matter. Nobody cares about that. Uber Eats Daily Play. Overall, you get a team of the season pack. Those have been kind of stinky so far. Um, you get, oh, some multiple rewards. 283s and some kits. 283s and some kits. Some XP and some packs. Premium Gold Players Pack. And League One Prime Players Pack. That's actually going to be pretty good because there's not that many good players in League One. Um, so the pool of players is smaller, so your chances of getting somebody are a little higher. Um, the daily play refresh, but again, it's uh, it's a bit stinky. Um, daily login SBC is there, but again, not as good as it used to be. It's a little boring. Ben Yahaya? I have no idea how to pronounce that name. But 4-star, 5-star, Intercept Plus, Incisive, and Finesse. Those are great uh, playstyle pluses. And Intercept Plus for a striker is kind of interesting. 84 defending for a striker. Good physicals, good dribbling, good passing. That's honestly a solid card. Um, I'm sure she has she has second yeah, she has other positions as well. She can play center mid camp, center forward. I don't think that's that that that's that bad at all. Especially if you're running a women's team or you have a French team. She definitely could fit in pretty good. She looks like a good player. Um seasonal, they have the objectives for some XP. And milestones explore ultimate team two. This is more for like the new players joining. Nothing too crazy there. You can get a draft token uh, for building thirty chem or more, which a lot of you probably already have. Um, let's jump into. I'm just gonna do my preview pack quick because you never know. God knows what um, store packs they have. Eighty seven foundation pack, which I actually do really like. Uh, I'm not going to be opening any packs today, like I said. Um, double pack. 286s, 181s, Encore player pick, League One Foundation pack. That's not guaranteed League One. Includes includes two guaranteed future stars, Fantasy FC, Ultimate Birthday Heroes, or Icons. Jesus Christ, these store packs are just getting crazy, man. I'm just wondering if there is a... No, there is not... Three rare gold League One player items... There's no guaranteed only League One pack, which is interesting. But like I said, the pool of players... Oh, I can't even do my preview pack. Pool, the pool of players is smaller, so I guess they're going to be cheap with those. Um, let's check SBCs. And then we're going to have a look at some of the new players. Uh, don't forget to do your daily login. The rewards aren't crazy, but you never know what you're going to get. We have Diani. Five-star, four-star, high-high, technical, whip pass, and Trivella. Some good playstyle pluses. Great dribbling, good passing, good shooting, shot power's a little low, good pace, great heading, and good physicals. That's a good play. I, d I don't know uh, how much he's going to come in at. Wow, 90, 89, 88, 87, and another 87. That's very expensive with one, two, two team of the seasons or team of the weeks. Very expensive, but I'm sure she's going to be good. She's going to be annoying on the wing. Musa Sizoko flashback. That's interesting. Four star, four star. Good pace split. Good, really great dribbling apart from agility and balance. Good passing where it matters. Decent shooting. And then good defending and great physical. I, as a Spurs fan, I love Sizoko. I probably won't be completing him because he does not fit my team at all. But what's he going to cost? 88, 89, 85, and 87 with one team of the season and a team of the week. Um, that's interesting. Definitely interesting. I love, uh, I like that they have at least two player SBCs on the first day. Um, that makes it a little bit more interesting. Maybe they realized that, uh, Bundesliga was a bit stinky. Um, but is there another player that we have today? They have the League One and the Women's League, French League, double upgrade, 70 or higher. Requires two squads. That's annoying. Oh, the, it's the gold with the two rares and then three rares. That's annoying. Um, again, the pool of players is smaller, but that doesn't necessarily mean every three packs you're going to have Mbappe. Um, so try out, try them out first. See how they are before you go crazy on them. 
And then let's see what else we have. Palacios was there. Bull was there. Silas. So that is going to be it for the SBCs. I kind of was thinking there was going to be a Lacazette or something. But two players, you can't complain. I like Suzuko. I like Diani. I think that they're very expensive, but they're going to be very good. Um, Suzuko, I don't know. I, I heard that uh, Vieira, Team of the Year Vieira SBC is coming out soon. We just got Mateus. There's a lot of other center mid CDM options. Um, but if he fits your team and you like Suzuko, go for it. Now we are going to have a look at... The new Evo. Hopefully there's a new Evo. Moment of Truth. Team of the Season. Attacker Plus. I'm not sure if that was there or not. Premier League. Team of the Season. Bundesliga. Team of the Season. Plus Upgraded. So it is upgrading a Team of the Season Plus. I didn't know whether it was upgrading a car that was already Team of the Season Plus. Or was making like an 85 rated gold a Team of the Season Plus. But overall Max 93. Pace Max 96. Shooting Max 93. Dribbling Max 93. So Hankto does fit... I'm curious, he has one pace, two shooting, two passing, two dribbling, one defending, and one physical. That's a pretty good upgrade. It doesn't take that too many games. I like that. I think that's a good Evo, especially if you have some good... I don't really have that many players that fit, but a lot, I know a lot of people have that hunk though, and probably he's going to be going up in price because people want to put him into that new Evo. Now, to end today's video, we are going to be having a look. This is my team currently. Um... I'm evoing Tapsoba. I'm evoing Hincapié, and hopefully Hincapié gets another upgrade. I just bought Royce, so if you want to see highlights, they are going to be going up on the channel. Subscribe if you want to see that. But first, let's have a look at some of the French League team of the seasons. Okay, so wow, I'm not going to look at all of them. I'm just going to look at some of them. But Dante always gets a card every single year. Six foot two, low high. Four-star weak foot, lengthy, good defending, good physicals. He's always an okay card. Um, if he's in packs, he's going to be discard. He does have all the defending play styles, and he does have bruiser and block plus. So that's pretty good. Six foot two. Um, Aubameyang I'm very excited about. But first, let's have a look at Medina. Three-star, four-star. He had a really good card last year, I believe. Good dribbling for a center back, but reactions and composure could be a bit higher. Good pace split. Solid defending and physical. Probably going to be relatively cheap. Um, Aubameyang is here. Four-star, five-star Aubameyang. Great shooting. Great pace. I would have liked it if they gave him 99 pace. Um, shout out to the um, the Borussia Dortmund team of the season, Aubameyang. One of the best cards I've ever used in any FIFA. Great dribbling. All 90 or higher. Uh, decent passing. Pretty good physicals. Doesn't he typically have really, really low aggression? Um, so they boosted that. Good heading. Um, but the play styles could be a little bit better. He has power shot. Rapid is great. Acrobatic is a bit boring. And power shot, personally, I don't use that much. I would have liked it if he had, like, rapid, technical, and finesse. Then this card would be crazy. But I love Aubameyang. Glad he got a card. Um, Golovin, I feel, always gets a card. And center forward. Is he normally a center forward? No, Golovin's normally a left mid, but he is technical, incisive, and first touch. Four star, four star. Those are pretty good play style pluses. Um... Pace, shooting, passing, and dribbling, all incredible. Defending and physical, a bit lackluster. But if you're going to be playing him as a center forward or a left wing, a cam, that's not too bad at all. Um, this card, I'm telling you, is going to be like so low in price. But he's going to be so good. He's nearly nine goal in gang. Four star, four star. Um, yeah, very, very well-rounded stats. If you're just joining the game, I'm assuming he's going to be cheap. I don't know. But this is a great card to pick up. It's going to be cheap. He's amazing. He's hulking. Nearly nine goal in gang. Um, definitely a great card. Um, probably, like, I'm going to pass on him. I know that. Minamino, I think, is an objective that I might have missed. But he has ping pass, incisive, and whip pass. Four star, four star. Good passing except for long passing. Great dribbling with a 99 agility and balance. Decent shooting. Decent pace. Probably give him a hunter. Uh, boost that shooting, boost that pace all the way up to 99. Um, decent physicals, and he can even intercept for you. That's all. I personally really like having my wide cams being able to intercept or come back and defend. So the 80 interceptions is going to help a lot. Um, David, four star, five star David, rapid finesse, and Trivella. See, those are the playstyle pluses that I'd like to have on an Abamyang. 
Um, great shooting, great pace, great physicals, great heading. We know that. Passing, more than good enough for a striker. Dribbling is very good apart from balance, but he's going to be a monster. I'm telling you right now, this is one of those cards that just has aura in game, and he is going to be a problem every single time you play against him. Donnarumma got team of the season for the goalkeeper. Zaire Emery, five-star, four-star, is nine goal in gang. Intercept, technical, and first touch. Those are amazing plays to have pluses. Really good shooting for a center mid. Great pace. Amazing passing where it matters. Amazing dribbling. Really good defending. Jesus Christ. That's not 95 defending. Like, the heading brings it down, but that is more like 96, 97 defending. That's incredible. 98 interceptions and stand tackle with 95 defensive awareness and then good physicals. That's a crazy card. Great play style pluses. He also has soft finesse shot, soft relentless, press proven, incisive. I mean, pink pass and incisive. That's a crazy card. I don't even know how expensive that's going to be. And then the last three we have, well, we are going to look at some of the women and the moments, but the last big three for the French men's team, Vitinha, long ball pass, ping pass, and power shot. He has all the passing play styles. He's nearly nine golem gang as well. If you don't know what I mean, nine golem is the first card, I believe, in FIFA history that had minimum 90 face stats on all of the stats. Um, so... Like how we say Hullet Gang, if you have minimum 80 in all face stats, Nangolin is 90 or higher in all face stats. So he nearly is Nangolin Gang, but his physical is 88. If it was 90, he would be. Um, amazing dribbling, amazing passing, with 99 short and long passing, great shooting with 99 pens, great pace, amazing defense. I mean, these cards are crazy. Five star, five star? Oh my god. I don't watch the French League. I don't like the French League. I don't like PSG. So I don't really know that much about them. But I did hear Vitinha is a monster. But is he really that good? Was he amazing this season? Five star, five star Dembele, as usual. Rapid ping pass and finesse. Amazing play style pluses. Literally 99 pace. Amazing dribbling. Amazing passing. Amazing shooting. 99 shot power? Really? And they boosted his physicals as much as they can, but Dembele is definitely not a physical type player. This card is going to be multiple millions of coins. Um, crazy, crazy card for Dembele. And then obviously Mbappe, 5-star, 4-star, technical, rapid, and first touch. He doesn't have a single shooting play style, which is surprising to me, but great play style pluses. Literally 99 pace, 99 positioning and finishing. His passing is great, except for long passing could lose a little work. Dribbling is nine, nearly 99 and everything except for composure and balance. Great physicals, great heading. And Bob Bay is just going to be like 15 mil and he's going to be unpackable. But amazing card as always. See some of the moments. Oh, wow. Okay, so we start with Lala. Shout out. I don't even remember what FIFA that was. Maybe FIFA 20 with Lala who got like an incredible amount of special cards. Four star, four star. Whip pass, relentless, and jockey. Good stats. He's going to be cheap. That's a solid player to pick up. Zikaria Todibo with 91 pace. 88 acceleration, 93 strength speed. Amazing defending, great physicals. Good driven. This card is crazy. Six foot three, medium high. They went insane for the um, French League team of the season. Nuno Mendes, four star, four star. I personally really like Nuno Mendes. I think he's really good. Um, Good defending, good physicals. Good dribbling. Could be a little better. I honestly would expect it to be a little better. Uh, this is a solid card. Probably going to be relatively cheap, but he's going to be annoying definitely to play against. Hernandez, who I also like. He's all the defending play style pluses. I mean, play styles, but he does have slide tackle, anticipate, and jockey play style pluses. Those are amazing. Good defending, good physicals, good dribbling, and g decent pace split. That's a great card. Three-star, four-star. Does he have other... Yeah, you can also play left back. That's a good card to pick up. To pick up. Taram, he is nine goal in game. Four star, five star. Tiki Taka, relentless ping pass. They went literally. See, like, why would you do Suzuko when you can get a card like this? I mean, I don't know ex how expensive he's gonna be, but this card is just gonna. How tall is he? Six foot four. He's like the French Hullet. He's just gonna bully you in the midfield. Um, kind of devalues, I think. Players like Suzoko as an SBC when they're when they're um, pricing them at that price. Um, Cherokee five star five star. 
Technical, Trickster, and Incisive. This is definitely a more fun card. Great dribbling with 99 dribbling. Great shooting, great pace, great passing. That's a fun card to pick up. I don't know how expensive these cards are going to be. And then lastly, Marquinhos with 90 pace. 88 acceleration, 92 sprint speed. Amazing defending and physical as per usual with Marquinhos. Great dribbling, amazing passing. That's actually really good passing. He has Anticipate, Intercept, and Ping Pass. The only defending play style that he's missing is Slide Tackle. But that is another crazy card to pick up. I don't know how packable these cards are going to be, especially after last week at the Bundesliga. It felt like they were impossible unless you were buying those crazy store packs. But they definitely went crazy with the boost. Now let's see if we can look at some of the women before we end this video. Okay, so we have Renard with 88 pace. Gave her a big boost from a normal card. Amazing defending. Like, do you even give her a shadow? Like, it'll bring the defending up to 99 everywhere. But... It's already so good. I don't know if like you should even use a shadow on her. Her physicals are great. Jumping is a little low. Um, she does have aerial plus though, which helps. I don't know how tall she is. She's six foot two. That's not even a problem for her. Great dribbling for a center back. Good passing where it matters. Weirdly good shooting. Four star, four star, high, high. Anticipate plus, block plus, and aerial plus. She's going to be a monster. Her team of the year was a monster. Um, she'll be a great pickup. And then lastly, we have, oh my god, all of these cards look crazy, bro. There's your Mbappe troll, Katoto. Four star, four star, rapid finesse and chip shot. So a wasted playstyle plus. Good dribbling, great shooting, good pace, good physicals. A bit meh for me. There's a lot of cards like her. Um, a lot of people are really just going to hate her more than they love her because they're going to think they packed Mbappe, but they packed Katoto. Baka, the most annoying left back on this game. Four star, four star jockey with a quick step or rapid quick step and ping pass. Great dribbling, but the reactions are a little low. Uh, good passing, good shooting, great pace. Weird pace split though, where it's like, should I give her a, a shadow or just give her an anchor or not touch the pace at all? It's weird, um, but great defending and physical. But regardless of her stats, she's going to get the job done. Like, she is one of the most annoying cards that I've dealt with all year. Then we have the last two cards for today. Gaiori. Gaioro. My bad. Nearly Hullet Gang. I mean, Nangolan Gang. Wow. Really good defending. Good physicals. Amazing dribbling. She's like a Kante. Um, with better shooting. That's going to be a crazy card. Uh, first touch, anticipate, and incisive. Four star, five star. Um, any alternative? Yeah, she can play CDM. And lastly, Karchawi, literally the best left back in the game. Um, 99 pace, literally 99 pace. Amazing dribbling, amazing passing, good shooting. I mean, she's crazy. Like, these stats are so good that I wouldn't want to waste her as a full left back. I'd want her to be bare minimum an attacking fullback, but I would want to play her as like a left mid and a three back. Just get her as involved as possible because she's that good. She reminds me of Grimaldo. Um, whip pass, rapid, and block. Amazing play styles. Probably going to be super extensive. Five star skills. But that is going to be it for today's video. If you Again, if you want to see my weekend league highlights with Team of the Season Holland and Grimaldo and Ping Pong and Royce, um, that's going to be going up on the channel very soon. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.